Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. You said more grays than blacks or whites. Well, we're not talking about races in this sense. We're talking about, well, the types of hackers out there. Tom O'Donnell, who has been sending quite a few questions and suggestions through email, sent this one asking me if I could help define uh, the hats of hackers, white hat, black hat, and gray hat. And uh, think of a white hat hacker as uh, someone who helps build security in software and in networks. So a white hat hacker would see a, an exploit in software or some kind of communications device and then show the world or the general community or specifically the vendor of the software uh, the exploit and say, here's what I did, here's how you stop it from happening. And in that sense, they're making the world a lot more secure than it would be otherwise. Now, the opposite of a white hat would be a black hat. And a black hat is the hacker that most people equate with the general term hacker or someone who uh, tunnels their way through uh, certain systems that have been set up to do things that they shouldn't be doing. Unscrupulous, uh, unethical, you know, these are people that, you know, just don't care uh, about uh, finding exploits. They do it for, uh, well, for a variety of reasons. Some do it for financial gain. Some do it because it's the challenge of doing it. Um, now, of course, the, the types of hackers that I think are the world's greatest hackers are the white hat hackers, the hackers that, you know, really serve to upset a lot of people and give geeks a bad name are the black hats. But of course, you need both the checks and balances, black hats and white hats, and in, in that sense, you have the gray hats, the people that are right in between uh, com being completely ethical and completely unethical. Or at least when I say unethical, I mean in a societal sense, because a black hat may see what they're doing as perfectly ethical, and it may not be in a greater sense, whereas white hats are completely open and candid with the what's, the why's, the wherefore's, the documentation to help improve security for everybody. And uh, for that, I, I do respect white hat hackers. Um, the uh, you know the, the term white hat, black hat has also been thrown around in other circles uh, with computers and the internet, specifically SEO types or search engine optimizers. And uh, these are people who understand how search engines work and in some cases can manipulate the system for their clients. And this is a multi-billion dollar industry, trust me. And I know a few of them. I know white hats. Uh, I know black hats, and I definitely know gray hats. And the world needs all three in order to kind of uh, spin, if you will. Uh, they keep the system in check. They keep the search engines on their toes. And in many cases, show us things that we otherwise would never have been able to see. Uh, you know, I, I'll, I'll, I'm going to take this a step further, too, and say we need some white hat hackers specifically for electronic voting in this country. Uh, unfortunately, the systems that are out there are closed systems, and it's already been proven that they can be hacked. If we took a more open source approach where everybody could see the software, make suggestions for security improvements, suddenly we would have a checks and balances inside the electronic voting system that don't exist. Hackers aren't bad. They're not as bad as you've been led to think. Uh, as, as is most things, the media has completely uh, overblown the usefulness of having hackers on the planet. Well, those are just my thoughts and the definitions as best I can explain them for the word hacker. If you have a better way of explaining it, I'm sure you know a hacker. That's not a big deal anymore. Everybody has. My dog hacks. She's so leet. Um, yeah, she, she's hacking uh, my pants right now. It's just disgusting. It's really disgusting. Pixie, I wish you'd stop. Uh, the uh, Don't worry. Just The ankles, folks. Yeah. Anyway, if you have any resources for us to look at, by all means, share them. Leave a comment, follow up, what have you, or you know, swing by the chat room. Uh, let us know some resources that uh, you'd like to share. We're always interested in looking at new links. And of course, if you yep, look, look, they're already throwing the URL of where you can go to talk with the rest of us. That's live.perillo.com. Thanks, guys.